Hey, I'm Nicky Numbers, a professional poker player who's gonna talk to you today about the best starting hands in poker. Now, when most people are talking about poker, they mean no limit hold'em. The best starting hands in that game are big cards and big pairs. So hands like ace-king, especially ace-king suited, are incredibly valuable. This is a true premium hand. Another example would be pocket queens. Any pocket pair of tens or higher is going to be a premium one. Hands like ace-queen are also incredibly valuable because they flop top pair regularly. Ace-king, for example, flops top pair 30% of the time. Big pocket pairs have tremendous value because often they're an over pair to the board, and when they're not an over pair to the board, sometimes they flop sets, which are really strong hands. A set is when you have a pocket pair, and then a third card that matches these two comes on the board. So you have three of a kind. Now, these are traditionally thought of as the categories of hands that are premium holdings. Pocket tens are better, ace, king, ace, queen. You only get dealt one of these hands 4.7% of the time. That's about once every other round if there's 10 people at your table. So these are infrequent occurrences. If this is all you play, you're gonna end up playing way too tight. There are other hands that also play well in No Limit Hold'em and have tremendous value. And the deeper stacked you get, meaning the more big blinds you have, the better these other hands will play. Hands like pocket deuces. A pocket pair is going to flop two pair or better about 12% of the time. It's an incredibly powerful hand and the most likely hand of any to flop a monster, pocket pairs. Another valuable hand is suited connectors, cards that are directly connected to each other and are of the same suit, so they're sequential, like six, seven. Another example would be a suited one gapper, like seven, five. Or a suited two gapper, like 7-4. Cards that have no gaps and are directly connected, have one gap or two gaps, and are suited, have tremendous playability in No Limit Hold'em. For example, a true suited connector, like 4-5 suited through Jack-10 suited, is going to hit the flop to make a big hand or a draw of eight outs or more about a quarter of the time. On the surface, it looks like you only have seven high, but these cards work tremendously well together and create a synergy that results in the hands having a lot of value in their ability to continue past the flop. Another example is a suited ace, like ace six or ace deuce. These cards work in a very similar way to suited connectors, suited one gappers, and suited two gappers. Basically, you wanna play hands that are able to continue past the flop regularly. And when I say continue past the flop regularly, I mean continue past the flop in a comfortable way. Imagine having a hand on the flop and your opponent makes a bet and you're comfortable continuing to call or raise. Imagine being on the flop and making a bet and your opponent raises you and you're able to comfortably continue by calling that raise or even re-raising them back. That's what you're looking for when you're picking hands pre-flop. Hands that interact with the flop in multiple ways and are often able to continue past the flop and regularly go to showdown.